All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Firma mod, which is being made by forum user Sassanach. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a selection of modular parts designed to build more permanent styles of bases off-world, and that is Awesome, as it's one of the things that I've always noticed with the other colonization mods out there. I love them to death. They have beautiful parts, but they all just feel so temporary, which makes sense because they're sort of meant to be your first foothold for colonization of a world. But what about once you have that permanent foothold and you want something more substantial? Well, that's where Firma comes in. So let's jump right on into the space plane hangar and take a look at what all this does add in. Now let's uh, grab the control module for it real quick and uh, place it down with a Mark 1-2 command pod for size comparison's sake. And then what we're going to do is, uh, well, I decided to leave the janitor's closet mod in from the previous episode so we can do this. Bam! Now all we have is Firma parts in the parts list, and that makes me happy. So hopefully in the future I will just have the parts for the mods in question, so we shouldn't hopefully miss anything of importance. But uh, now that we have that sorted, let's get back to the HMC control module. Now this thing is really probably going to be the base of any building that you do create with Firma. Again, it is a modular system for building buildings and this is going to be where you start and it needs at least one Kerbal inside to operate but of course can hold up to a maximum of two and seeing as how it is a command pod it has the pretty typical data transmitter crew report and 200 electric charge so not a whole lot to it not a whole lot of resources etc but again it's meant to be a base for your buildings no IVA I don't know if there's ever going to be be an IVA, but I hope that there is one day, as there's a lot of parts in here I think would be fun to have internal views, rather than being of ships to be like a building, because that's what it's meant to be, a building. But for now, no internal views on any of the parts we're going to be having a gander at this episode. But yes, this is going to be your standard first part for any of your modular constructions, and you can see that it is a perfect cube, and that is by design as every one of the modular parts in the Firma system is meant to fit with this cubic dimensions, which is quite cool. And with all the different modular parts, it means that you can really construct some cool buildings and everything will always line up. Now, on to the next part. So we, of course, have nothing in fuel tanks, nothing in engines, nothing in command and control, but you're going to find the majority of parts for this mod here in structural, which is kind of understandable. I mean, that's going to be a major part of any building is the structure of it. And it's quite cool as we have both a structural and windowed cubes of each of these different styles. So we have a cube, a structural corner, a 45 degree wall, and a structural inverted corner in both of those two styles, which is very, very fun. Now, of course, the cubes attach in right on there. The corners, they go, well, wherever you want a corner. Same with the, you know, 45 degree walls, and of course, the inverted corner. Very cool. I love the design of all of these. And again, modular mix and match to create whatever building you so desire. And on the other side, we will just uh, chuck in these same things, but of course, in the window styling, which I love so much. You can make some very, very interesting buildings with the combination of these two kinds of parts. For instance, I kind of put this uh, inverted corner oddly over here uh, to make it sort of a harsh ramp in between two right angles, whereas over here it flows into the inverted corner. So it actually is quite nice. You can get some cool angles on your buildings with these, and it's just overall very very beautiful and these things of course do light up like any of the lights in any of the normal Kerbal pieces which gives them a very Kerbal like feel and you guys know me I love my parts to be 
Kerbal alike or Kerbal alike or however you want to put it and the windows very much put off that vibe now these structural pieces I don't know there's something about the texturing to them that I think is a bit off from being Kerbal alike but it's very very close and when mixed with the windows it fits very nicely and looks very similar to say buildings we have in the space center which is always fun now after these oh I should mention these structural pieces yeah, um, they hold people. <laughs> Almost every part in here holds people. Because, again, it's a building. So, uh, yes, the windowed corner holds two. The 45-degree wall holds one. The inverted corner holds three. And the cubes hold four. And that's going to be the same with these as well. Oh, actually, no, the structural cubes do not hold people. I could have sworn that they did, but I was incorrect. I'm glad I did look at that really quickly. But yes, so it looks like the windows hold crew, the structural pieces do not. Now the next part we have is in coupling. And uh, this is a the HMC airlock. Now this does hold two people, and of course is, it's actually rotated around so it's fits correctly there we go an airlock so you can pull people out which is quite convenient so you can move them around between your windows or your command pod and pop them here to actually have them walk around in the world and then of course they can come back in through this door which is one of the things I was expecting to see a hatch on the command pod but there is no such thing so if you do want to get people outside you have to first transfer them to one of these airlocks and get them out of the hatch that way now now, uh, then in payload, we have nothing, nothing in aerodynamics, ground, or thermal, but when we move to electrical, we have two lovely devices, one, of course, being a very large battery bank that holds, <laughs> oh boy, 64,000 electric charge. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's actually, uh, there we are. So we have the electric symbol. It is upside down at the moment, though. Yeah, basically, the, the flag should be at the top on all of these parts for them to be right side up. And then we also have the HMC Nuclear Fission Reactor, which will produce 3.8 electric charge per second. Oh, it's wonderful. It's basically just a giant RTG, but uh, considering that it doesn't require any fuel of any type. But yes, it's quite nice that you do have this thing on there. There we go. We actually have it right way up and it will produce a fair amount of electricity for you and your construction. Now, then in uh, communications, nothing. Science, we do have a laboratory unit which functions just like the normal laboratory in uh, the standard squad parts. And if we just pop that on there and rotate it around, beautiful. Again, it all fits in with the cubic system that we have. And then finally, we have two parts in utility. Now these are more or less useless except for, of course, the electric charge on this one. Uh, but the agriculture module and the life support recycler are meant for the modular colonization system. So this mod does actually have a lot of compatibilities. It is compatible with the modular colonization... Oh, okay, let me try that again and try to pronounce things. Try to pronounce words. The modular colonization system. It's also compatible with near-future electronics, connected living spaces, and... Uh, I actually, I believe that is it. Those three, which are very, very big, important mods. So with the life support recycler and the agriculture module you can you know use the modular colonization system and the life support system that it does entail which is always quite useful so those parts are specifically for mks and uh yeah that is all of the parts for firma and with these beautiful cubic parts you can build a lot of cool stuff. Now let's actually leave here real quick and head to a small little village I decided to create with these earlier. Just to give you guys an idea of the sort of stuff you can expect to build using Firma. And I I just love it. There's so much potential creativity that you can have here. I mean, I built these buildings in like a couple of minutes each. So they're not exactly the greatest things ever. But to give you an idea of what sort of things you guys can do, we have this one right here, which is a uh, 
primary laboratory. We have the laboratory unit right there. We got a lot of Kerbals in this thing, but let's actually get one of them out of the crew hatch. No, when I get to that, there we go, beautiful. So you can see that uh, Nelber Kerman can get in and out of the hatch there. And uh, yeah, this is a lab where we have a laboratory unit over here. I built a small modular colonization system sort of uh, also laboratory is what I called it, but it has that uh, recycling unit and agri uh, agricultural unit in there. And just a nice small little three by three building. Nothing too special about it. I love the lit windows. This one is uh, my attempt at making a three story habitat building. This thing can fit quite a few people. And now on all of them, I have the control module in the front and an airlock in the back. So you can get people in and out. And uh, yeah, this thing with all the windows holds quite a few Kerbals and is, well, as you can see here, a nice three-story building. And then over here, just another habitat building that I created that was two stories, but decided to make it a bit longer, a bit more rounded off. I actually kind of am disappointed in myself for not using the 45 degree walls of these right here as a sidewall to go across like that. I didn't think of using it until I was about to make the video. I thought to myself, you know what? That would have been interesting, but oh well, you could in fact tip one of these on its side for that very purpose. So rather than being squared off, they could be more octagonal in shape or however many sides you end up having. And it's just very, very cool. Now, of course, you may be asking yourself, how in the crap do you get to these to other worlds? Well, that's, of course, the thing. This is meant to be when you have a more permanent foothold. So the mod kind of assumes that you have something like ground construction or uh, extra planetary launch pads installed so that you can actually build these on that world. So you have the manufacturing system and resource gathering already set up to build them yourself rather than launching them. Because of course, oh, <laughs> launching them would probably be a very bad idea. These would these buildings would probably fall apart. And now these are just a few simple buildings that you could could do, and then if you had, say, the Kerbal inventory system and Kerbal attachment system, you could hook them together with some piping or cabling to so uh, to allow them to share resources back and forth to actually have a proper working colony of your own designed buildings, and that is awesome and that is why i love this mod so much and i wish i would have had it on some of my uh games that i've played in the past where i have tried to colonize a world because the idea of switching from those more temporary colonies to trying to build a permanent colony like this is just oh it makes me so happy imagine building a whole city like this on the moon or on duna that is a possibility though it would be quite difficult i think but fun, challenging but fun, that you could do. But uh, that is pretty much it for all I have to show you on Firma. It is a cool mod, has a lot of good uh, configs that make it compatible with, as I said, MKS, Near Future Electronics, Connecting Living Spaces, really should be used with uh, one of the various construction mods. And you may also want to add something like uh, one of the various mods that increases structural integrity or the welding mod maybe that might be fun just to give them a little more help for instance the three-story building the reason I added the crossbar struts not only because I thought they actually did kind of look cool to the building but because well if I don't have it that corner of the building kind of sinks down a little bit <laughs> because I didn't take that into account when I was building things. But yes, it's a fun mod that has a really unlimited amount of possibilities of what you could construct using it. So definitely, if you would like to go and have a look at this mod for yourself, go and take a look at the link in the description, as always. And I would definitely say to go and do it. This is just so much fun to build these, and it really lets your creativity fly. So go have fun with it, build some stuff, and and of course, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today and that you do come back for the next when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.